Hey, Jay, we're here to see your gym and fridge. Miss Ho, what's going on, man? You know what, I, I usually don't do this. I usually don't let random white folks in my house like this, but come on, you know what I mean? Y'all can come in, come on. I do comedy, sir. I make room full of people laugh. Well, I'm Will Smith, woo! All right. Welcome to the block, where we gotta- Excuse me, excuse me, thank you. Thank you so much, I'm so sorry I'm late. Let's go check out your fridge. All right, guys, y'all know the deal. Check out my fridge. What do you always have in your fridge? I always like to have my watermelon juice. You know, that's good. Ginger juice. This has been in here since pre-pandemic. So, this at this point, this is ginger alcohol. You know, so check this out. We got the almond milk. You gotta do that. Grapefruit juice, have to do that. Grapefruit juice is really healthy. I like that. Pineapple, orange, and banana. You have to mix this up. Make a little healthy cocktail, you know? A mocktail. That's what you're doing pretty much, all right. While we are on the subject of juice, the ultimate juice for me, but shibwa! That's right. I'm all about that healthy life, but I'm all about getting lit and turned up. My favorite is red grapefruit. And if you cross these two together, woo! But just a splash is fine, you know? Have a little grapefruit in your life. Huh, Monica? I have a lot of juice because I'm a sweaty guy. So I'm always sweating out my liquids. So I have to replenish myself constantly. And watch this, boom! Look at all this, fresh produce that I have in here that will in turn to juice. It's gonna turn into juice. Okay, I hear what you, I hear what you're saying. The refrigerator basically said, close the damn door. <laughs> like your grandfather, close that goddamn door around here. Oh, y'all, y'all don't know about that. Okay. <laughs> All right. What goes into your smoothie? I normally do it with beets, an apple, I'll take a lime, a lemon, put it all in this cup right here. So uh, we gonna get the juicing. That's right, juice that. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, there we go, we making juice. <laughs> it ain't no secret that, uh. Quarantine definitely let everybody get a little bit loose. I had a lot of fried food over the pandemic. I gained some weight. Now, thank you to me setting up my own gym system me, and me juicing, see, I dropped 25 pounds. Um, look at that beautiful juice, finally. You see that? Let me get a little sip. Oh, that's delicious. What does your diet consist of? Pretty much the same thing um, after I left SNL. So, you know, with SNL's crazy schedule, it's kind of hard to eat healthy just because of the choices that are available late night. Pretty much just do protein and vegetables. Like I'll do baked chicken, I'll do fish. Sometimes I'll, I'll have some steak. I know that's red meat, but it'd be good. Now, some days you have a cheat day. I'll have a cheat day like every two weeks. I'm not Dwayne Johnson, I don't do that. You know, he, he really goes off. He's 18 pizzas. Who, how many people are you? How do you eat all this? I'll indulge, you know, have a nice burger, you know what I mean, get some fries, whatever, but making sure that I get back on track afterwards. That's a timeshare. You know, hey baby, enjoy it while we're here because we, we ain't gonna stay here, you know what I mean? Your body is like an engine. Whatever you put into it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course y'all know this. This is men's. What am I telling y'all? Keep it healthy. Yes. What will we never see in your fridge? I'm really not a big mushroom guy. I don't like the consistency. They're slimy. They go down your throat sadly. I don't like it. You'll probably never see like Arby's anything in here. Look, if, if we do business in the future, Arby's is business, but as long as y'all know that there will never be any of those roast beef sandwiches that Ving Rains narrates in here. We have the meats, not for my refrigerator, you don't. What's your comfort food? You know what? I'll tell you what my comfort food is. Almonds, all right? I would just be sitting there chomping, if I don't eat, I have like a handful of almonds or something just to sustain me. Do you switch up your diet for rolls? Yes, I do. Uh, all my life that I did with Harry Shum Jr., Jessica Roth. There's a lot of people in this movie, right? I was in New Orleans, so my diet was uh -uh. It was no diet, okay? It was, it was catfish, pub crawls with, with lobster po' boy and... Uh, you ever had a flashback? to like a real good plate of food and you just tasted it for us. That's what just happened. That's why I phased out for a second there. So my diet for that movie was different because I was in New Orleans. Meanwhile, this one I just shot uh, with Christina Milian, 
I totally changed my diet for it because I was on the beach. I was like, I might have to take my shirt off. I gotta make sure that my, my breasts ain't drooping. I ain't trying to have nobody uh, uh, saying I got a dad bod because I'm, I don't even got kids yet, then that's disrespectful. So I just totally changed it up and I got healthy. All right, are you ready to work out? Let's head to the gym. Welcome to Pharaoh Gym, or well, as I like to call it, the sarcophagus, because we die in here and we come back to life, baby. How often do you work out? Uh, about five times a week. When did you start your fitness journey and what inspired it? Um, you know, I was a fat kid, you know, so um, I really didn't have a choice. I've been on this kick for about 16 years and I was fat for like 17 of them. One more year and I would have matched the amount of time I was fat with the amount of time I was kind of in shape. So that's kind of dope. What's your favorite exercise? Pull-ups are one of my favorites to do. Definitely help carve your upper body um, to the maximum. And when I was younger, eighth grade, seventh grade, I couldn't even do one. Are there any other exercises you like? I like cleans. And they make your back, make your back look so defined. And it works on your core, helps your posture. And all these muscles right here, these are the ones that pop through your shirt, you know what I mean? What exercise do you hate? Squats. I hate squats. My neck is so long, and all the weight right here, it just hurts so bad for me. Squats. I like the results, but I hate having to go like this. And I hate, I, I'd rather take my weights and do it like this and come up with it, you know what I mean? What does a week of training look like for you? So I like to get up, like get on the treadmill first, do about four miles. I just alternate back from legs and chest and to arms and, and, and just working on them. I'm like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but I just interchange my stuff. The more confused your muscles are, the faster you build. What's your favorite part of working out? The results. There's nothing better than being exhausted and fatigued and you can't go anymore. And then a couple of weeks later, you see all that stuff pop out. You're just like, oh. It feels good. Do you use any special equipment? I mean, the weight band is definitely, is definitely something specialized that I use. What are your fitness goals? I wanna be as ripped as I can for as long as I have my mind. I would say that. How do you keep your mind fit? Meditating, praying, talking to my family, talking to my grandmother, of course. She has put up with J. Farrell shenanigans my whole life. When I say J. Farrell shenanigans, I mean, allowing me to be myself at her house. I never felt like I had to be restricted. She'll see me on television and she'll say, I just saw you for a few minutes, but it was nice to see you. You know, my grandmother is the bomb. I love my grandma. What kind of music do you listen to when you work out? Oh my gosh, 300 Spartan music. I'm all about epic. You, you come to my gym, you ain't gonna hear Drake playing all the time. I no disrespect, I love Drake's music, but when I come in here, I'm trying to be a warrior. So I listen to warrior music to, to motivate me. Like Rick Rose, motivation music one-on-one. -on -one. Don't eat the lemon pepper wings. You gotta always satisfy your sweetie. <laughs> How does working out help you as a performer? Well, working out puts your mind in a structured state. And being a performer, you have to be so calculated. <sighs> Lifting weights just adds to that. Keeping your body together just adds to your mental focus. This adds to you being able to kill at any time. Do you have any tattoos? I haven't got any tattoos yet. I just rather not have any. Not saying that I won't get one one day. I just haven't gotten it yet. You know, and if I do get one, it will probably be very small in a place that can be covered up quickly. And, and easily. But I like tattoos. All the girls with tattoos holler. Cardi B, what up? <laughs> oh, <grrr. laughs> yeah, oh, <grrr. laughs> yeah, I like all them tattoos. All right, time for rapid fire questions. Workout time, 7 a.m. or 7 p.m.? Uh, it's 12 p.m. Squat or deadlift? Deadlift. Favorite song on playlist? 300 soundtrack, so March of the Greeks. CrossFit, yay or nay? Nay. Pull ups or chin ups? Pull ups. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Dumbbells. Run on the treadmill or the great outdoors? Treadmill. Cardio or weights? Both. Big legs or big arms? Both. Biggest compliment, jacked, ripped, cut, or swole? I wanna have your kids. If you could work out with anyone in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? It'd be The Rock, jabroni, because The Rock 
The Rock lives, he does what he does, he eats 12 pizzas, comes back, lays a smack down, if you smell what men's health is cooking. All right, now y'all get out. Cause last time I'm doing a rock impression, we free get out. <laughs> <laughs>